Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and this is Monday Minute. There's a lot of you folks out there that love creating effects and you're taking a stab at sequencing, but sometimes you've just got this block. You know, how, how do I make things blend together? How do I make something unique and interesting, even if it's just for a static movement, just something without music? Well, I'll, I'll give you a tip on uh, an effect that I think is pretty cool using, or I should say, an effect based on three effects that I think is pretty cool and it's easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's take a basic tree effect. That's this guy right up here. There you go. Tree effect. And if you want, you can turn on the show tree lights. I don't really use these. I, I To me, it's, it's a little more cheesy. I wish there was more uh, control of what we could do with these. That would be neat, but uh, I usually turn those off. So we have this. Set it to the number of branches you want. Mine's about six. You do six or seven. And then take a spiral effect. Just three palette rep, spiral wraps, 6.1, whatever you want. I mean, you could make this anything you like. I like it to be a little pronounced. So something where it looks about like this. Uh, thickness, depending on your tree, uh, this is 32 strings here, so um, that looks good to me. And the movement, nothing too fast, nothing too slow, but you can adjust this as you go. So if we take this and we scoot this across the top, then we end up with this. So now we have a nice little isolation, these little gaps in between with this. And this looks really cool. I mean, if you just wanted this, you could do this. I mean, heck, if you just wanted to add a little snow to this, sure, no problem. Put some snow in here and we should probably make snow maybe white. Yeah, it is. But notice the snow is falling on the outside. Well, that's pretty easy to fix with layer blending. Just tell it uh, that two reveals one and then we can add a bunch more snow and you'll notice the snow is only on the inside. Okay, so that's one cool little trick easy to do two reveals one when it's on the top layer means that it's only going to show when nothing else below it is showing so let's get rid of that so we have this this is our base effect that looks pretty cool i like that i mean heck i mean you you could put uh sparkles on it right or we could put sparkles at this uh layer here and that looks really cool but then this really handy tool right here one of the most underutilized uh, effects, a powerful effect, which is a single strand effect. Take this and just create some chases that go up. Now, normally, this is exactly what this would look like. Now, you could try it this way. It might look really cool. But I like to transform it to be 90 degrees. And you could have it go up or go down. And then just a nice 3D fade. And that looks cool. And then when you drag that on top, you get this. Now, there's a little more to this, a little more to this. Let's break this down. If we look at the spirals here, this is using minimum in my list. A good practice for all of you who aspire to become sequencers is to go through the list and see which each does. What does subtractive do? What does additive do? And get used to the expectations when you start to click on these and you'll get some familiarity and build up some skill sets. Then we have this guy here. This is two is unmask. And when I put him on here, this is the effect we get. Again, you'd go through here and change some of these. We could go to minimum. Ooh, that just doesn't work. It's on the top layer. Maximum. Now, that's kind of cool. I like that, too. That's a neat effect. And maybe I might change the color. Maybe I could change this to white to see what it does. Maybe I could change it to green, blue. And then you get the blue in the background, maybe yellow to get some contrast in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. And then if we go back to, I believe it was two is unmask, we get this and we get some nice, interesting movement, very Christmas looking. Uh, and again, if you wanted to put snow inside of it, you certainly could. You learned just a moment ago how we do that. We take our snow, get it to the snow color you like, and tell it to be two reveals one, beef up that snowstorm, now they're swirling inside. All right. I hope this has been beneficial to you. 
Keep trying, keep practicing with X Lights. It's an amazing, an amazing software filled with so many cool tools. Have fun, enjoy your holiday season. This has been Monday Minute. See ya.